Welcome to the Vox Pathfinder 15R channel and I think I have a, a good shot to everything. We're just, I'm going to film this video from beginning to end with no interruptions. And so I'm going from the previous videos and I purchased this NTE 5314 bridge rectifier integrated. Uh, the direct replacement was like the 5313. This is the same thing except instead of 200 volts, capability has 400 volts. Still the same 8 amp, you know, steady state. So it's slightly better, I think. So we're going to go through all the steps to removing this old chip. We're going to uh, use a tool. Where did I put that tool? So I'm already unprepared. <laughs> oh, I got the tool here. Just acquired. I'm going to bend the legs. And I just practice on a nice thick paper clip to get these precise bends. So we're going to, uh, going to do that. All right, so first order of business, I am going to remove this chip and see how that goes. So let me just uh, move the oscilloscope probes off. Um, let's just clear this mess up a little bit. Just a little bit, not a lot. All right. We're still filming? Yeah. Okay, so got a chopstick here. Just gonna try to pull this chassis out without killing it too much. I'm just gonna support it like so. And unfortunately, the, the soldering I have to do is right here. Let's see if I can pull board slightly closer. Let's see. Okay, I think that covers it. Get my soldering iron. And away we go. Now I just, I started this back in so I don't need to add like fresh solder or anything like that to heat it all up. It's a it's normal solder. All right, two out of four. Sometimes you just have to like attack it without fear. And sometimes you just gotta do a little follow up with the, the braid wick. the holes a little bit. If you get a good shot with the solder sucker you can it cleans up nice sometimes. But if it doesn't clean up nice getting like the minuscule remnants of the solder out you really need some of this wick. And that will uh, help the cause. And if I was if I was doing this on the old original solder, what I would do is I would just put some flux paste on the the wick, make it go a little bit easier. All right, again we're doing this real time. Not going to be polished. Still in there. 
So, if it's still in there, you know what I'll do. There's a diode. <laughs> Maybe I will put a little bit of flux paste. Let's see how that goes. And, uh, Get the solder wick back out. Of course, I've already lost it. <laughs> Is it down on the ground? Oh, lordy. Well, there it is. Sometimes I can't see the force for the trees. Okay. Let's see how this goes. Sometimes, Let's see, sometimes I'll just use the, the tip and just sort of like push it. Doesn't like to cooperate sometimes, so, oh well. Just have to keep, uh, keep on, you know? Again, like I said, I'm not going to do a polished video. You're going to see this real, real time. And, uh... All the, the issues with desoldering. Of course, what's funny is that I didn't have such a hard time taking out this chip originally, to be honest with you. see there we go okay there she is so I want to make the same bends where is it yeah here we're going to duplicate those bends. Let me just switch off the soldering iron. Preserve its life. Okay. Uh, so we're going to compare the new chip to the old chip. It's oriented the same way. So let's see. Can you see the board? Yes, you can. Now, are the legs, they have a good separation? So yeah, I mean, I could stick it in like that. I wouldn't have to bend it. But then, it wouldn't justify the tool I just bought for a lot of money. <laughs> okay. So, let's just put this piece of paper here. And I'm going to practice. So let's compare these bends. Uh, so first I want to bend inward. All right. Let's see. So I'm going to hold it in this direction. No, that's the wrong way. Okay. So I hold it that way. 
and I hold it this way to bend it back, right? And I'm going to do it again, right? Oh well. Okay, so using this as a guide. Orient the chip in the same direction, like so. And then I'm probably going to uh, bend. This is kind of difficult. Do we even want to do this? Because <laughs> these two legs are in the way now. Okay, see if I can match it. A lot harder than it looks. All right, so of course I should be doing it from that angle. This is the difficulty sometimes when you first figure this something's new to you. You have to get used to it. So we're oriented like so. And go a little higher. Switch the tool around. Oriented like so. Switch the tool around. This should probably go back out. Maybe, maybe I should make the bend a little higher up. Let's focus on this one instead. So I poke it out. No, this way. Line up this. And then back over there there we go I'm getting the hang of it all right so I gotta make sure this comes back out Yeah, if you get dyslexic with this stuff, it kind of ruins the fun, right? <laughs> Let's just see if I can get through the holes. Maybe there's some bends, there's something I can do.
It actually sits like so. You can get it through. Let's see if I can fix this a little bit more. And we're still filming, right? Again, I'm not editing this at all. It's like, uh, there you go. Let's see if I can get that in. That's oriented correctly. It almost has like sort of a, a feature where kind of like, kind of like snaps in almost, you know. Kind of interesting. I'm filming something at the moment, so there's there's that. So that fits in like so. It's a little higher up than it used to be. Uh, but it'll work. It's away from everything else. I'm going to turn back the, uh, the soldering iron. And let's see if I can solder this piece in now. Just going to pre tin the, the, the tip. I'm just going to like hold this in a little bit and see if I can. I got a little bit of solder. So now that's going to hold it so I can get the other legs in. Looks good. Yeah, it looks good like that. It's, in, it's inappropriately. So now I'm just going to solder the others. And see how that works. So I'm just going to hold up the, the iron. Maybe sometime this century I'll get some solder melted on this bit, puppy. There we go. Okay. There's that guy. Let's do this guy. Alright, starting. Looks good. Go to this guy. Excellent. And this guy.
All right. Let that cool down a bit. Um, let me just clip, clip those leads. I can find a tool to do it, which would be excellent in our case. And thankfully, I have such the tool. All right. These other, these three of them were pretty short. That looks good. Um, I have a little bit of alcohol. Do I have a toothbrush anywhere? Yes, I do. Now, is that in the field? Can you see? Yeah, you can You can see it's right there. Yeah, you can see what I'm doing. All right. Just want to make sure you clean the boards of the flux. You know, it's not... You know, obviously, I've, I have assembled boards back up, and I've forgotten to totally clean it, but, I mean, it's usually not an issue, but it can, it can be, and it's good practice to make sure everything's clean, you know? All right. Okay. I'm just going to check my work. I didn't like bridge any gap and made a short. Um, I'm going to clean that top edge a little bit. Just to double check. Should be okay though. The last thing you do is you put in a brand new part and you created a short. And those and that's the thing very thing you're trying to fix. Alright. I think that should be good. It's like an annoying little bit of flux there. Hopefully it's flux and not like a not like a short. Although no, I see I see this discoloration around several of these things, and hopefully that's not evidence of the board going conductive. I wish I could show this better. It's like a a light brown. Kind of interesting. But you know, these old boards, you know, yeah, I'm seeing like this umber in between traces. Like here, I see this umber. That might not mean anything, I'm not sure. But it's not like flux that I left. Okay. Let me just put that right there. All right, I'm gonna put this nap towel in here to Prevent any, uh, prevent any of the board from shorting out while I'm just powering it temporarily. You know. All right. There we go. She sits a little higher, well, whatever. <laughs> like I said, it's not a bad thing, I don't think. If you wanted, give you more room to bridge the diodes with capacitors. If you wanted a really clean signal, you know, without all that, uh, you know, like that noise from the diode switching. 
So, I mean, in that case, it's good. All right, let me get my probes back up. Go to ground, and I'm going to go to the negative rail just for the fun of it. And you're still seeing all of this, right? It's your oscilloscope in view. All right, that's better like that. Okay, put on the oscilloscope each. I am going to turn on the uh, the circuit that forces electricity to go through this, you know, dim bulb current limiter. In case of a short. So that's on. I am going to turn the variac on. It's at zero volts. I'm going to turn on this chassis. And now I'm going to t dial up the voltage. And you see a signal on the screen. Interesting. Okay. So. I'm going to test the AC before rectification. So I'll put it on AC and I'll put the ground, the black probe to ground anywhere on the chassis and I'll probe this fuse. You get 3.2 volts there, 3.2 volts there. Let me just pick up the voltage a little better six point five volts six point five volts now let's probe the uh, the rectified voltage I'm just gonna put into DC at 20 and if you from my last video the negative uh, rail was less than the positive rail So we've got negative 6.24 volts, or about six and a quarter. And over here, I have 9.5 volts. Fuck. Six and a quarter. Let's see, uh, divisions, volts per division. Just wanted more room on my oscilloscope. Let me dial up the voltage a little more. Let's see, I got negative nine volts there. Positive 13.8 volts. All right, what if I, uh, what if I'm, let's put this in AC, because I was recommending, oh, you shouldn't probe it in DC, because there's still a signal going up and down, and only probe it DC once I put the filter caps back in. All right, well, let's see. So, again, yeah, see, I get zero. Because it's, it's rectified, just because it's not a, nice wait 29 okay 29 volts ac there and i get nothing here let's see what if i go and switch to the other channel Maybe 
making a mistake, I don't know. The guy said, oh, look at it on your oscilloscope. All right, I'm going to move this function down. And if you look, I got one, two, three, four, five uh, divisions on the positive rail. I can shrink it, or I can increase it. All right. If I go back to the, the negative rail, how many divisions do I have? Got one, two, three, four, five. Uh, but it's sort of a, a different look to it. Sort of got like a flat top here in the peaks. Let's move this down. One, two, three, four, five, and a little bit extra. So maybe it's just the, the function of the multimeter doesn't like looking at this. And it could be also, I didn't hook up the rest of the circuit. You know, I didn't put, there's this link. Hold on a second. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. All right, so I'm going to check the voltage. Zero volts here. Oh, zero volts here. That's, that's different. Oh, no, 13.7. Nothing here. That was like the same behavior. Hmm. I wonder if I put to resistance, do I get continuity between chassis and there? Not under 200 ohms, how about 2,000? So it's saying I have like 1,200 ohms resistance. Let's see. That suggests 3,000 ohms of resistance. Shut this oscilloscope off. Eight point four ohms. Uh, that's so freaking annoying. Negative. What is going on here? So, saying about ten thousand. Is there still a voltage on the other rail? Let's see. So, any voltage on the negative rail? Yes, it's showing some like negative 0.25 volts. This is like 13 volts. Hmm. Well, this part is good. I'm just trying to figure out, like, what is the issue. I mean, I've totally segregated the negative from the remaining of the circuit. Maybe if I plug in that... Uh, link back in maybe it will help it all right just 
going to clip the positive lead, clip the negative, turn it on, turn off. Seven volts. Point two, negative two, negative seven nine. Hmm. I think we'll stop there, and I'll think about it, and we'll go on from here. But you saw the results firsthand.